The principle is what you're trying to understand, right? I have to see how much my animal is gaining every day. For each of my animals, I calculate that. Birth weight minus, I mean weaning weight, minus birth weight over the amount of days. I see how much weight I'm gaining daily. I see I want to adjust it to 90 days. I could have adjusted it to 120 days, you know, but I'm using 90 days, right? In this case, they are adjusting it to 120 days. So if all my animals were gaining this amount of weight, if animal one was gaining this amount of weight per day, at 120 days, what would the weight of the animal be, right? If I have animal B and he was gaining two pounds per day, not five, but two pounds per day, and I am carrying him to 120 days, how much would that be? But remember the data that we need to calculate it. What are the three main data that we need to calculate it? So basically the age of the animal from birth to weaning, right? three critical pieces of information that I need, right? Then after I put it to a 90 days to say, well, if my animal was gaining weight for a 90 day period, if my animal was gaining weight for 120 days, what will be the final weight of my animal now? I have to add back the birth weight. That's all? Because all I did was to say how much he was gaining after he was born. So now I have to add the birth weight and then I get a final weight. So the weight of my animal at 90 days is X, right? Or if I adjust it to say I want to go to 120 days, that is the weight of all my animals, right? So everybody is even now, right? Now that is when we need the table because we're going to select which is the best animal in all. We are working our way up to selecting the best performing animal, right? That is what we're trying to do now, you know. But there's a little process to get there. Now, after I do that, I say, all right, so I fill out my table. I have all my animals. I have the adjusted weight to 90 days. So that is my adjustment at 90 days. But then, remember what we said. Even though we have all the animals weighing equally now, everybody equally sorted out for 90 days, we said that we realized from experiment, from what the researcher said, there were some things that could have affected the weight of our animals, right? What we said they were things that could affect the animals that we we're going to multiply out. The amount of kids that they had or lambs from birth to weaning, right? Not just birth, birth to weaning. We said the age of the animal is affecting the weight of the kids that we have or the lambs. And what was one other thing? Three things, man. The, the sex of the animal. So I'm doing all my females and I'm doing all my males. So I'm going to compare females against females. I'm going to compare males against males. Because if I mix up everything and have data there, I'm, I'm you know, the males are going to be coming out on top all the time, unless you plan to select all males, right? But remember, you're trying to select out of the females that you have, which is the best female, out of the males that you have, which is the best male. So now I have my weight. So now that I have my weight, it's just pure multiplication I'm going to do. I'm comparing my females. I said I have the weight, so I write down the weight. So I said the female is weighing. 20, 20 pounds. It's a big one. No? <laughs> I said she, this kid that I'm evaluating, was born as a twin, but it was raised only as a single. Right? I go across and I see what was the age of the mother. Three I, years. Okay, I see the mother was between three to six years. So I multiply my 20 by 1.1. Right? So that table already worked it out for you. You have some tables that make you have to go through the whole thing. What they do is that you have to multiply first by the age of the female. Then you have to multiply that total again by the, 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 the sex of the animal. And then you have to multiply that again by the 
if it's a twin or a triplet. But this table already worked out all of that for us. They just, they just give us one number that we have to concentrate on. Okay. 